He's gonna break out, and I'm just gonna no, no, it's not happening. It's not happening. Sorry, buddy. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World Evolution. Apparently, a bad game by IGN standards. So we don't listen to them anymore. No. <laughs> to be honest, you should never really base games on like reviews, like review places like that, because. Oh, they're not. They're, they're usually wrong. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's right. We've got Nodosaurus. I've got to check. Hold on. Before we do anything, guys, uh, I just want to check to see uh, what genomes we still need to complete. Uh, so, Hyungabunga and Archaeonathomimus, as well as Nodosaurus. Um, so, yeah, we're going to start on... Ooh, what's this? Archaeonathomimus, where are you? <laughs> there you are. And then, oh, oh, apparently they need to... Well, we're extracting, so don't worry, don't worry. But what are we doing today? That's right, because the sun's so bright, it's blaring through, and on this dark island, it's hard to see. Um, oh, that's right, yes, well, we, we continue on with the missions, and we we're going to start the science mission. Uh, okay. As you know, some of our specimens break down into herbivores and carnivores. The herbivores tend to be more docile and passive. The carnivores, not so much. Our goal is to get them isolated and into their own enclosures. Um. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> First step. What? Let's hatch our new dinosaurs and separate them. Of course, it should be easy enough to tell them apart. Here's a helpful tip. The ones trying to bite off your hand, not vegan. I don't know. I've met some aggressive vegans like... <laughs> Jeff, Jeff, Jeff now. I I, I, um, uh, I think you may be wrong about that. But anyway, so we've got Chasmosaurs and Gallimimus, um, which I'm going to say... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Those Gallimimus are not living long at all. We've only got a plus 20%. So I'm just going to um, get that up to about 60. We can, we can have about like 60%. So... If we, if we keep it there, they've got like a, what, it's 40, 50, 69, 20, 20 odd percent to 69. It's 31, 31% 31 chance of failing. But I'm okay, There's, the Chasmosaurs are definitely going to complete. The, they're going to complete. <laughs> the only thing I'm worried about is the Deinonychus and the Metricanthosaurus. What we could do actually um, is just sedate and release that other Metricanthosaurus. So I'm probably going to do that because if we, um, if we make that Metricanthosaurus, oh wow, okay, which one is the, we'll sell the one, we'll sell that one, because, oh, hello, no, 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 I'm doing your mission already, God, yeah, it's like we got Dilophosaurus in here still, they're all, they've all got like some health, like wearing off them, but they're, they're, they're all right, they'll survive, oh, Kendrasaur, wow, I didn't even, have we never been there before? I didn't even notice. Where, where was that? Was that over here? Oh yeah, Kendrasaur, that was a new one. I think we just unlocked Kendrasaur, didn't we? A storm defense station is tracking an incoming tropical storm. Now apparently, um, if you have a tropical storm, uh, your carnivores will get agitated and will attack the fences no matter what. <laughs> so if you've got something like a Dominus, yeah, you're gonna have a bad time. So in here, I don't think, do we have? Or we only have uh, Struthiomimus. Oh yeah, you guys, you guys were great. You knew exactly, I mean, you could have Googled that, I suppose, but you knew exactly what um, dinosaur, or sorry, what the other Street of Mimus was in Land Before Time 2, and it was Strut and Ozzy. <laughs> so in commemoration of you guys, you know what? Where is it? We're going to call this Street of Mimus Oz. Now I'm pretty sure, it, does he call him Ozzy? I think he calls him Oz and Ozzy, so. And you know what? Because we got a lot of money, I may as well. There's some food. Uh, we'll delete the goat. Oh, oh, hello. Structural damage. And we'll also place in uh, some water. Now, I'm hoping that uh, we don't... I think I placed water there. I'm not sure. We'll find out. Oh, oh wow. Oh, there's smoke coming from the monorail already. Fantastic. Now, Gallimimus aren't that fussy. We could keep them there, but I'm going to move them out to the uh, Chasmosaur area. So we should be able to sell that Metrocanthosaurus. The only one, like I said, oh wait, what? We got a Dilophosaurus that's sedated? I did not mean to sedate that Dilophosaurus. Okay, well, wake that up. 
Uh, the metric on the source, though, we can sell. Um, we'll go in here, just do more of this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dead dinosaur. Is that that uh, Dilophosaurus? Yep, yep, there it is. Metric on the source. Dog, dog, dog. Bless it. Well, we, can we remove the dead body? No, he's just going to move something else. So that is one Gallimimus. We'll get a, another Gallimimus. And we'll release that. So this is the, sorry, this is the Chasmosaur. And I'm just assuming it'll be like, keep them housed and happy for like five minutes or something. Oh, can we move the camera? The camera did a weird like moving up and down there. That might be because there's a dinosaur nearby probably. Ooh, oh God. <laughs> I've got a cup of tea with me. I know, right? But I don't have a, um, a, like, any milk, because the milk is, like, curdled. It's, it's, it's turned, as my mum would say. The milk's turned! <laughs> oh, my mum's a funny one. Jesus. Oh, bless her. She was, like, capturing a bee today, or, like, letting a bee go, like, as it was inside the house, so she had to catch it to release it. And when bees are, like, when you try and catch bees, sometimes they can sort of put their, their arms in the air or their legs in the air and be like, Ah! Stay back! <laughs> um, oh, wow. These guys are not on very good health. Are they thirsty? Oh, they're after food. You know what it is? They're scared. They're scared of that Metricanthosaurus. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to place like a feeder in the jungle so they can eat from that. Uh, there might be... Is it water as well? Yeah, thirst as well. So what I'll do is I'll put in some water at the back as well. So there you go. So they can stay in the jungle and be okay. So hopefully, that should sort them all out. <laughs> so that's Chasmosaur done. Uh, or oh, one Gallimimus has failed because, yeah, it's probably going to happen. We'll make a couple more. But yeah, back to the story. So mum was, like, saving this bee. <laughs> She said she had a right chuckle to herself. But um, she was saying, like, while she was doing that, um, like, the bee, like, the bee put its arms up, and then she, like, imitated it, and she just had a laugh to herself, like, I'm mental. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> oh, dear. So we're probably going to make another Chasmosaur, just to make sure that they don't go insane and try and kill each other. Um, because if they're not so, if they're not, if they don't socialize enough, these guys, they're gonna break out. So that's Chasmosaur done, but, oh, oh dear, oh dear, I think Metricanthosaurus is picking a fight with a Dilophosaurus, is it? Uh, oh, Dilophosaurus just on low health. Um, oh, there you go, see, in the jungle, yes! Beautiful! Oh, I've helped them all out, so Dilophosaurus hide in the jungle, and the Metricanthosaurus can be out there. So we get these two Gallimimus, that's them done. Only problem is Deinonychus. And Deinonychus is, um, mm, I don't think it's going to be happy with the Velociraptors. It's probably going to try and kill them. Um, I w you know, it shouldn't because they're basically the same, but I get the feeling that um, it will. Um, and because that's the case, I'm going to see if I can place a Hammond creation. I wish you could make smaller ones of these. I really do. Because they're just so bloody ginormous. Like a tiny one. They can only make one would be great. Like one dinosaur. And can't have any speed ups. Um, so what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to sell the uh, raptors. Just so we have a pack of uh, Deinonychus. I think we need four of them if anything. So like the Gallimimus and everything will be moved out. But the Deinonychus um, will be uh, kept in. Adding to the list. So they can sort of... Actually, they might be okay in there, to be honest. I don't think they will be. I don't think there's enough space. Chasmosaur's probably okay. Aha! We'll release that Gallimimus. This Gallimimus is a lot bigger. <laughs> Look at it! They're actually okay in here. I thought that Gallimimus actually had his head through the thing, but it didn't. You don't want to go over there, mate. No, there's a T-Rex that can be quite hungry. Oh, 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 God, I need to yawn as well. Woo! So, are these guys okay? They should be better. Yeah, they're a lot better now. That's awesome. So, we're going to sell those raptors. So, what we need to make now is... Um, I'm going to stave off... Ooh, tell you what, we can make them a little bit better. We can get 20% down on viability. So, only 5% for viability for a skin color. Ooh! 
There you go. Let's give it some of that. And there, it's got a 101% chance of being successful. So we get, I think it's four. Like, raptors are okay as long as there's three. But I think um, Dinonychus need four. So we're going to release them in here. Actually saying that, no, we're not. <laughs> no, we're not, Chuck. Where's that helicopter going? Oh, no, no, you don't. We're going to, oh, look at all the tasks I can assign you. You're going to sedate. One, two, three, four. Oh, sorry, I just deleted those ones. Um, oh, no, we need to get... No, you don't need the... Uh, leave it in there. Oz could probably die. Uh, I know. Tis the way with nature. Uh, so we're going to sedate all those guys. Um, I need to sell those raptors. Just a bit of a shame, because... Especially with this island... Um, did, I, did I name these guys? No, I don't think I did. I don't think I did. Good, good, good. I don't have to feel attached. So, the Deinonychuses can go in there. Um, and once you've sedated these... Yeah, because it's such a small island. When it comes to doing the story missions, it's like... Huh. Well, I better take away all that. Because by the time you can unlock the story missions, you've probably made enclosures and stuff like that. So, there is the other Chasmosaurus. Oh, God, look at them. They're like long insects with huge legs. And we'll also get that Chasmosaur. Um, so that's one sedated. Ooh. Um, and let's start moving them. Because those raptors are going to be sold within two seconds. Why am I yawning? I'm so tired. Oh, God. Oh, it's not boring. I know. I think I've, I, I've already recorded today. So I think my, um, my muscles need lubrication. But I can't drink my tea. Because for one, it's boiling hot. And two, well, it's boiling hot. I am a bit of a wuss. But I can drink tea. Uh, oh, no, sorry. Milk. It has no milk in. Um, which is, I think, better for you, is it? Oh, look, the gallon mouse is like, huh! Gotta do a handbrake turn there. So let's make um, the other two of these guys. The only problem is, I kind of want to, like, can't add any more. I'd love to make another hatchery capacity. So the most capacity you can have is six. Oh, sorry. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five. Adding the extra three in here. Um, I don't know which is better. But to have, like, speed up? Because if you have speed up, they're made quicker. But then they fail a lot quicker, right? So is it better to make loads of them and rattle them through quickly to get the one that is successful? Or to just have dinosaurs that um, sort of are going to be more complete and have a higher chance. So I'll make that, and we'll make that. So all these guys are going in. I might just leave Ozzy here to fend for itself. No, I can't do that. No, Ozzy has to come with. All right, there you go. Oh, the sun's coming out, but I have the curtain. Yes, very good curtain. Will hide, protect me from the sunlight like a vampire. So, and is that another? That is a Gallimimus. So you will be transported over here. And that is a Chasmosaur, the third Chasmosaur. And I'll put you over here. The only thing is they need, like, the Chasmosaurs and Triceratopses aren't very happy if they're close to other dinosaurs. But it's in their vicinity. So as long as, I don't know, we have another feeder somewhere else, like at the back. Um, like, all the way over here. At least to spread the dinosaurs out. I'd assume that's how they're going to work. So we have Styracosauruses. Oh, hello. Well, I'll try. Go on, then. Look at it as extra money and experience. Ooh. Well, there you go. Some extra money and some extra experience. Um, so, Nodosaurus we still need. Kenosaurus. And where's Nodosaurus? I think Nodosaurus is over here. I think it's that one. Yeah. Nodosaurus and Kenosaurus. Which aren't any different. There we go. We have the classic Jurassic World evolution uh, tr triangle of dinosaurs talking to each other. Oh, oh wow. There's a lot sedated there <laughs> that need movement. Um, so let's go over here and transport those. So we'll transport you to here. I think that's ours, is it? And that's another galley. So we'll transport you over here as well. Kentrosaurus, new viable genome. Yes. And all of these are being taken now. But the thing is, the helicopters have to get all the way from one part of the island to the other one. So are these all okay? Population's good. Okay, they'll be fine. Fantastic. 
And then, once we're done here, we can start Isla Sauna, guys. Um, also, I did promise that we were going to have that T-Rex fight the Indominus Rex, didn't we? So I think we might do that. We might go back to Isla um, Takano and do it there. I mean, I just wish there was more unique animations. That's the only the only thing I wish there was. Like, so when the Indominus takes down the T-Rex, it'd be completely different. Uh, we need a Metricandosaurus as well. So uh, Metricandosaurus won't be happy. But yeah, it needs to be sedated, put in there. And... If it's anything like the other mission, they may deliberately just break out. We, I don't know. Um, but I do know that there's still some dinosaurs in here that need moving out. And they are um, mission appropriate. So if they don't get moved out. Or sorry, they get killed by the Deinonychus. Um, it's not going to be a good time. So yeah, the Metric of the Source is the only one that's sort of like in the jungle. I really like that. As far as AI, you've got like the planes... This sort of roaming lion, and then you've got like the little little ones are more shy that need a little little bit more shade, a more ambush predator probably. Or they hunt by smell, so who knows? Uh, so we'll get that, we'll get that, um, and we'll send more off again. It's a bit tricky because I am reaching capacity. I'm just saving it for Isla Sauna. That's what I'm doing. So there you go, off you go, Tanzania. Did somebody? Yeah, I love you guys, man. It's so good. Uh, I was mentioning in, well, I think it was episode three about one being in China. Like, is this dick zone in China? And it said, like, underneath in bold letters, China. <laughs> oh, it's so great. I just want to say thank you for all the support you've left in this series. Um, it, it's interesting because this is the first dinosaur game that the mainstream have covered. So, um, like, when Jurassic World, the like, any... I always feel like there's a niche, and then as it gets more popular, like, before Jurassic World came out, dinosaurs were still niche in the mainstream. Um, and they weren't out there, and, like, everyone's like, oh, I like dinosaurs now. When Jurassic World came out, everyone's like, whoa, dinosaurs, that's a thing. And now you've got, di you've got ch uh, YouTube channels that have completely changed to just being dinosaur channels or having, like, secondary channels that are just for that uh, dinosaurs, dinosaur-related content. So that's interesting. I find that interesting. Um, but... In a way, I was worried because it's good. It's a good thing because dinosaurs are now. I don't care whether I get more popular of it uh, because of it. I just care that you know we're spreading the word and you know dinosaurs get some love and we introduce dinosaurs to the mainstream. Because when I was a kid, dinosaurs were seen as like weird and I don't know why. Why do you not care about the latest pop song or God knows what? Oh hello, Dino, Dino Slop, Dino Brew. We have got no guests going here. What is going on? How about here? Okay, not really much there. Wow, what? We have like four and a bit stars and we are getting no income from these. That is really strange. There's a bowling alley somewhere else. I think, is that it? Bowling alley. How's the bowling alley doing? Oh, that's full though. For some reason, the bowling alley is full. Okay, so we need to add more staff. There you go. Even more. Um... Also a disease. Oh, that's not good. Who has it? T-Rex, what you got? Doesn't say until you zoom into it. Avian pox? Um, I think I've... I always research um, the diseases. Um, oh god, that's not the right one. I always research the diseases as soon as I get them. Are we done? Uh, we got a helicopter picking that up so we can release the Deinonychus. Because I don't think you can get it even if you run out and try to catch him at the last second. You can't get him! So release that, and release you, um, and these guys need moving, so as soon as this guy's released, we'll make a fourth one, because I'm pretty sure four is like the magic number, uh, so Danonychus, uh, let's have a look, he's probably going to say he needs more space, I would assume, uh, needs more grassland, actually, it's okay here, strangely enough, it just needs less, uh, less forest, so, there you go, that should make it better? Yeah, it's already made friends with the other one. There we go! So, actually, it might be three. Three is the magic number. Um, so... I don't... Oh, God. Hello. Um, let's have a look. Metricanthosaurus. Let's put that in now. Uh, yeah, that's good. That's fine. Um, ooh, dinosaur feeder. Ooh, no! Well, there's already a jeep out who's over there. So, we'll just put that on there. There you go, buddy. Now, this is what I find ridiculous, right? 
Look at that. T-Rex and a Jeep doesn't go for it. In fact, runs away. <laughs> yeah, if the T-Rex is outside, sees a huge group of people. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Oh dear, disease outbreak controlled. I like how that, that's quite nice that you get that uh, little message there. So there should be, oh, there's only one. And the social's okay. I'm not sure if you're gunning for my job. With numbers like yours, you deserve it. Ooh, thank you. I'll try. But you know, you are a fictional character. So one, two, no three. And... I'll, you know what? I'm just going to keep that Dinonychus in there. <laughs> There's no real point to it. Um, I was going to say, if I release, if I get rid of that capacity, will it, you know, stop this from happening? Because how much is this? Like, oh, we don't have success rate times three. Oh, it's only 20% quicker. It's not going to make much of a difference. Especially since it's over 30%. 20% speed is still going to be slower if we restart. You see there? Quick math. Done. Oh, yes. Eat the goat. Kind of. Mm. Is it juicy? Juicy goat giblets. Oh, now the T-Rex needs its feeder done. Okay, hopefully he's still over there. Is it returning? It's returning the base. No, yeah, don't. Responding to resupply request. There you go. So they're going to be sedated. And as soon as they're sub sedated, they're probably going to be sedated before the Metrocanthosaurus is released. Um, so I'm just going to... I'm just going to... Oh, why are we still yawning? Oh, good God. Oh, call this episode the yawning episode. Oh. It's just like if you talk and you've got a dry throat, you, you just yawn and you can't help it. So there you go. Place you in there. The and then place you in there. The and then the third one um, should be being sedated. Unless it's already sedated. I just can't see it because it's in the jungle. No, no, no. This, this uh, helicopter is still circling, so it hasn't found it yet. Oh, no. There it is. Done and done. So, because we haven't been moving anything else, as soon as this, actually, to be honest, as soon as this Metrocanthosaurus, here, I can't even talk, as soon as the Metrocanthosaurus is done, uh, they're going to be airlifted out anyway, even if I released it now, because um, by the time it's done, it's like, hello world animation, it's, uh, oh, there you go, there's a T-Rex eating a goat, yum, 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 and, yeah, I'm, I don't know what you could say. It'd be interesting to see what she says. Like, once we've done the first part of this. I think there was something else. Or we, No, this was the first part of the mission, so. Oh, we got dinosaur ready for release, but we don't want to do that just yet. We got gold, which will sell. Free up space for Kentrosaurus. Which, Kentrosaurus actually looks the same as the other friggin' thing. It's ridiculous. <laughs> the Hyungasaurus looks exactly the same. Oh my god. They could have changed it a little bit. Come on, 87, 88, 89, 89, 152 rating, skin basic. Could have changed that, don't know why I didn't. I just kind of want to get off this island at the moment, because there's nothing else for me here. I just have to do the missions, and that's it. Because there's no space, and half of the fun with this game is, like, space to make things. So there we go, expedition's back, good, good, good. Really just want to make that Sukumimus, I think we've 100 percented it. In the last episode. So there we go. Metricanthosaurus. Done and done. And that also. Oh, look at it go. I like that. He's like, ooh, ooh, I'm gonna check. I don't think I've ever watched it come out. Okay, what's the next part of the mission? Each of the species of dinosaurs we nurture has their own requirements. Make sure their welfare is up to our standards. This is one of our biggest challenges. These animals. Even when we keep them separated, they know. They each know that the other is there. Predator and prey. One lives in frustration, the other in fear. Wait, what? It's a powder keg just waiting for a spark. Ensure each dinosaur remains housed within an enclosure. Okay. Ensure carnivores and herbivores are housed separately. Okay. All herbivores are housed together. Okay. Ensure all carnivores are housed together. Okay. Um... So, what? I can't put the T-Rex in with everything. It will kill everything. Okay, so to do this mission, I've got to trank the T-Rex and sell it. Because <laughs> I'm sure if one of them gets killed, that'll be it. Because the Metrocanthosaurus... Oh, I don't know, maybe the Metrocanthosaurus is okay. 
uh, with that. The science division is always on the lookout for ways. Release an Indominus Rex. Bugger off, love. <laughs> uh, what was the Nodosaurus? That's right. So we'll go back over here, and then this should be done any second. Oh, they're waiting for uh, some space, but um, I mean that's got ten seconds left, so I'll just wait here. Uh, so they're sedating the T-Rex. Once T-Rex today is sell him, move the Metric and the source in with the Dilophosaurus, because that makes sense. Um, and there we go. So, we'll go over to here. And we will move the Metric and the source over to Heading here. To collect the asset. Uh, sell asset that. Request received. And, um... <laughs> I, I guess? I mean, that's what she wants. We're just picking up the, uh, the Metricanthosaurus to put it in there. Um, oh god. Oh god, look at them go! Dilophosaurus are like, whoopee, we're free! <laughs> Bye! Bye! They are going for it, they're leaving that Metricanthosaurus. <laughs> oh, but they're like, hold on! There's- oh, they're like, oh god, turn around. There's raptors over there. I just... Okay, have we got any any kerfuffle? Oh, we've got Deinonychus O2 just testing. He's like, hey, hey, I see you. Oh, is he wanting to start a fight with somebody? Dilophosaurus? Well, there's the Matricandosaurus all done. Oh, they are wanting to fight. Ensure all carnivores are housed together. Well, T-Rex should be sold. Done and done. Well, I hope you're happy. They're attacking each other now. <laughs> Cure all mission dinosaurs. Wait, what? Really? Case, it's damn close. We have a disease spreading through the dinosaurs community. Oh no! To handle on it immediately. Oh. Need I remind you of the investment you're putting at risk by letting this disease spread? Okay, well, you go do that. I'm gonna quickly, uh, hopefully, as long as they don't kill each other, the dinosaurs will be fine. So I'm going to go over here and just cure the dinosaurs. So it's the Gallimimus. Gallimimus and Chasmosaur, which are sick. <laughs> are you scared? You should be. I don't even know what you got. And again! Damn it. Okay, well that's one done. Okay, right, I'm just going to tell you to do it. I failed, right? What?! And there will be blood, including yours. You bugger you! I can't believe that! I knew that was going to be the case! I knew it! I knew if one of those dinosaurs died, then she would have had me. And what? One of the Deinonychus died. Why did she put them in together? And then. That is a stupid mission! Are you friggin' serious? Really? Really? Oh, that is an that's really annoyed me. That has really annoyed me. Okay, these guys can go kill each other. So, guess what, guys? We're gonna have to cut, and we're gonna have to start this mission again by Dr. Kaja. Ah, oh, okay. Well, I guess we're resuming now. That's good. <laughs> good God. Uh, so, are these? Yeah, the comfort on all the carnivores is like slowly going down because of that hurricane. Uh, did not expect all of this. Uh, thank God I've sedated most of the dinosaurs. Oh God, we got a storm warning. I should probably like open the shelters. <laughs> Everybody don't die. Do people get sucked into the hurricane? That would be amazing if they did. So I'm surprised no dinosaurs get picked up. So basically, we're back where we started. Um, I have also um, like decided to do a couple of things different this time. Um, like, because they want all the dinosaurs in, or at least all the carnivores in one enclosure. And I think, I think I have a cunning way that I've managed to skirt around that. Because that's the thing. Uh, such a stupid mission. <laughs> but hopefully the uh, twisted in, yeah, I didn't destroy. So here is my cunning plan. So basically, this is how I'm going to link, in quotations, link all the carnivores in one enclosure. And as soon as it counts as one enclosure... Um, I'm gonna fence it back up. So, I'm gonna delete the outside fence here, then this fence, then this fence, and then this fence. So, the dinosaurs have to go like round in like this weird U shape, this like S bend. So, hopefully, 
the dinosaur will like run here, stop, run there, stop, run there, stop. Like, because they don't like go around corners, I don't think. Or at least I haven't seen a dinosaur go around corners. Um, oh, have you got the Jeep there? Hold on, let me just, yeah, that Jeep's there, good. I'll just give him more tasks. Fix that. Um, is everything okay? Wow, that hurricane. But I just love, I was just looking at this game like, look at this for scale. You can be right close to the dinosaurs and then boom, you're on an island. Oh, it's so good. Whoop, monorail's damaged. Whoopsie daisies. So we gotta go quickly get that. Uh, so, oh, he's fixing it already. Oh, great. So, yes, finally, as soon as this uh, carnivore goes in, because uh, the Gallimimus should should be in there as well. It says, ensure all carnivores are housed together, ensure all herbivores are housed together, and then all housed separately. And as soon as this Metricanthosaurus goes in, oh no, off you go. What we need to do is just delete like that fence, that fence, that fence, and that fence. And that counts as one enclosure, I'm hoping. I really am hoping. So as soon as all the ticks are go are all ready, here we go. Are you ready? Oh, oh, well, apparently the Deinonychus. Oh, is that because of the storm? Yeah, that was because of the storm. Actually, if I wanted him anywhere, it was not there. <laughs> Stop it, man. You're comfortable. Oh my god. Okay, he's not gonna stop until he breaks through that, is he? He's not gonna stop. I think the other one's banging over there. Yeah, the other one. Up oh, there it is! <laughs> For God's sake! Oh, because of that bloody dinosaur. Okay, so we're gonna have to sedate these. Oh my god! Oh, just because of a friggin' storm. Your comfort's fine. You're a little bit of forest, but you're okay. Oh god, something is banging. I don't know what, though. Is it this? Dilophosaurus? Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> You little rapscallion, you! Oh god, the raptors are just running! Running up the mountain! Don't know where they're going, they're just off! So yeah, those Dilophosaurs are going into one exhibit. In fact, actually, he's going back. <laughs> so that's good. He's gonna end up back in his own exhibit. He broke out and was like, oh, yeah, there's no point in doing this. <laughs> so we'll transport. How far did it go? Wow! Got miles away, so get back in your enclosure, you bugger you. There's another one down there. And there's where's the other one? I saw a helicopter over here. Hold on. Did it go all the way down here? Somewhere here, I can't see him. Ah, there he is. Oh, it's already killed somebody. Oh, fantastic. Good, good, good. So it ran to where it knew people were. It's like the AI was like, I smell human being. Human flesh, man flesh. <laughs> So, did the Dilophosaur end up going back in its exhibit? No. No, it didn't. But you're still out there. Oh, my God's sake. You know what? Sod it. Yeah, whatever. You can be in you're still technically in the same exhibit, right? The Dilophosaur may not be happy because there's tr no trees in there, so... There you go! Oh, sorry, that's removing trees. More trees! Da-da-da! Wow, this is one big exhibit. <laughs> so, we should be just rescuing the last of them. Oh! Did something break out here? Oh, for God's sake. No reason for it. One, two, okay. Uh, there should be another Jeep here that's not doing anything, which could just quickly and easily go over there. Wow, wow. This, since the failed mission, I have spent 25 minutes just trying to get back up here. I hope you're enjoying my bloody frustration. I'm not. <laughs> Things such a pain in the bum just because of a hurricane but it does sort of test your ability on how you uh, act towards it the lofosaurs have now decided to go miles away from it um, it's funny that the metrocanthosaurus are kind of happy um, not attacking the dilophosaurus. So maybe the Metricanthosaurus and the Deinonychus wouldn't kill each other. It's just a fact the fact that I I have dilophosaurs in there and they killed Deinonychus so this mission shouldn't have failed, but it was because of those Dilophosaurs. That could very well be the case. So these guys have these been, oh wow, you had a little merry jaunt, didn't you? A little jaunt out. And I'm guessing you went with your friend. Yeah, there's your friend. Yeah, there's a huge slump there. And then as soon as this one's sedated, done and done. So we can continue with our day. So we'll just open up all of this. Closed shelters doesn't sound right. And look at them phase through closed doors. Or at least one person did. <laughs> Is that the only one who went in there? All right. Okay. Um, so they're all going back in. And now we wait. Yeah, I was just reading the comments, guys. Oh, like, 
I, I know it. I don't know. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Like this this playthrough. I'm loving it. It does get frustrating at times, but that's what a simulator does. If it was too easy, it wouldn't be fun. Um, so, nothing else should be breaking out. We're all good. As soon as these... What? Are you serious? Now this I is like annoying. Because this friggin' Chasmosaur is unhappy because he's by himself. Because his friends left him. So I, by the time I tranquilize his friends, bring them back, he breaks out. Ooh. <laughs> and this isn't like a, a like a, a rare occurrence. This happens to any dinosaur, like Myasaur, Parasaurolophus, anything like that. Are you serious? They broke into this exhibit. We we're like, yay! And then went, no, we went back in. So there you go. Closed it back up again. But there's like loads of Dilophosaurs over here, are there? Where are they? Are they in the jungle again? They might be all in the jungle. Yeah, they're, they're running back into the jungle. Da -da -da. Metricanosaurus is also... Oh, oh god. I oh, thought we broke it there. I <laughs> thought it crashed. <laughs> it's about to have a mini heart attack. Okay, so never mind. He's taking a little bit longer, so it's cost me like a minute or two. Oh my god, I did not expect this mission to be a whole episode. It shouldn't technically have been an episode. It was my fault for having uh, Dilophosaurus in there. I didn't know. I didn't know. I mean, I knew that was going to be the case. I just didn't think... Oh, I didn't think it through. Stupid mission. Stupid science. Please don't. Right, that's it. I'm sedating you. I'm sedating you. Oh my god. Again. This is ridiculous. I haven't got a chance. So Sodom. He's going to break out. And I'm just going to... No. No, it's not happening. It's not happening. Sorry, buddy. Don't do it. I'll give you another dart if you turn towards it. There you go, eh? Now you can just be a little bit daisy. <laughs> so ensure all carnivores are housed together. So that's the only thing we need to do. So we're quickly, finally, gonna do this. So there you go. They should all be... There the it is! Ha-ha! Suck it! Spreading <laughs> through the dinosaur's community. We need to get oh no! Housed them all together! Bugger off. remind you of the investment you're putting at risk by letting this disease spread? Da-da-da! Never mind. I'm just gonna run straight in there and just shoot. People have asked me to shoot the guests, and I've n I didn't think about doing that. That's a great idea. <laughs> All right. Da -da -da! Hello. Oh, are you freaking serious? Nice shot. You are all hitting the fences. Fantastic. Why? Wrong asset targeted. Why are they all hitting the fences? They all should be fine. Receiving asset report. Yeah, there you go. Uh, oh, there's another one over there. No more darts Damn it! ID on the asset. I know I'm trying, but oh, he's gonna, he's gonna freaking get my. Oh no, never mind. He just stopped. How could they hear a dart though? That doesn't make sense. Are you still bashing the wall? Yeah, go on, charge towards me. Face me like a man. That should be it. We're done. Good. Finally. Have I done it? Have I done it? Yes! Please tell me that's it completed. We may be reaching an epidemic. The disease is spreading. Where? What disease? Well, that's fine. <laughs> I don't have to worry about it. I like how they were just like, uh, whatever. Well, we'll send a ranger over here to Request get that guy and then that guy. But they should be okay. It is a race against time. I just want to make sure that nothing goes wrong. So there you go. He's taking his sweet time. You could go quicker than that. Come on, son. I like how they made it. So you can hit lampposts, but you can't hit trees. Hmm. I guess that would have been too annoying, wouldn't it? But a lamppost, no, made of solid stuff. Mahogany! From Ector 5! <laughs> <Do, do, do. laughs> I just love that. Whee! Just let me over there, please. Fence broken. Hello? Bonjour! <laughs> Up the buddy! Are you done? Don't care about the fence. That's not part of the problem now. Who's got the disease? Who is it? Is it oh, somebody in here? All right. Well, there you go. Go get him. He's he's got a better chance of getting him than I do, especially. Oh God. 
Right, right, Kazmasaur is not happy. I'm not gonna sedate them though. I'm just gonna- all I need to do is make sure that this is sedated. Damn. No, go away, man! Yeah, there we go! Yes! Please tell me I did it. Please tell me I did it. Oh! Fantastic! We can start on Isla freaking sauna! Oh, thank the Lord. Thank Jeebus. As bad as it was there for a minute, it looks like the fire is out. The disease has been contained, and we have no signs of it in the park. Phew, the fire's out, says the woman holding the flamethrower. Well, guys, if you've enjoyed this stress test of a oh, friggin' God. video, oh, leave a like, please, for my sanity. <laughs> and until next time, well, I'll probably see you within a couple of hours or even tomorrow. Bye-bye.